Shalom, I'm going to give praise and glory to Allah, Shem HaShad, Shem HaKadosh, and double honor to the elders and apostles of Great Muslim and the Holy Jew. And please bless and the to the whole for of it. And, um, yeah, man, all I'm going to say is, <clears throat> we know Esau wants to be a god. And he's going, he's going to achieve that by way of technology. <clears throat> and here's a little example, man, of what Esau's trying to do, man. Especially concerning the NW order. Created, some, created something called the Robo Rat. That was the first bio hybrid. So a bio hybrid is when you mix animal and a machine and peep. And you know it's um basically transhumanism, and that's what Esau's trying to do. Man. He's he's trying to do this to people. And one way he's going to do it is by way of the RFID micro chip which is going to go in the hand which that's going to be linked to digital payments it's also going to be linked to um your birth certificate so all those identifications cards that you have those papers it's all going to be on the the chip <clears throat> so or you, could, or you could basically just say it like this it's going to be used for a form of form of payments also security checks or identification. And then you got the brain CHIP. Which <laughs> with that <clears throat> there comes that mind control man. That literally they're gonna have power of his spirit. People freaked out. They were like, you cannot put brain chips in rats and make them move through a maze by a remote control, which is what they were doing. They now have pigeons that are mixed animal and machine. What? They created something called, there's a moth. So there's a mandica sexta moth. That's what it's called. It's a large moth. And scientists put brain chips into the larva so that when it cocooned and became a, a flying moth, it had the chip built into its system, making it easier to integrate, and they could fly the moth around the lab. And that was a huge step, and this is now four years ago that I was interviewing these scientists. So you see, <clears throat> it's, all, it's all about that control, man. Hence why Esau wants to gather all people onto himself. <clears throat> Not only does he want the Israelites so they can continue reigning, <clears throat> but he wants to control the spirits too. Here we go, Exodus 21. And two, it says, if thou buy an Hebrew servant, Six years he shall serve, and in the seventh he shall go out free for nothing. If he came in by himself, he shall go out by himself. If he were married, then his wife shall go out with him. If his master have given him a wife, and she have borne him sons or daughters, the wife and her children shall be her masters, and he shall go out by himself. <clears throat> and essentially, we know Esau wants to... Um, Put these CHIPs in the Israelites. Why? Because if you take it, and guess what, man? You're basically claiming Esau Edom is your God, man. <clears throat> and even then, when you put those things inside you, it's literally going to change your DNA. So you're going to be a product of Esau Edom or a creation or a creature of Esau Edom instead of being patented by Yahweh Shem HaWashah. Hence why the Lord got to destroy your ass. That, that's the only way, man. That's the only way to make you better. He, he's he's going to have to cleanse you with that fire, man. <clears throat> yeah, and this is verse 5. It says, And if the servant shall plainly say, I love my master, my wife, and my children, I will not go out free. Then his master shall bring him unto the judges. He shall also bring him to the door or unto the doorpost. And his master shall bore his ear through with an oar, and he shall serve him forever. And this is what essentially Esau's trying to do. <clears throat> He's trying to mark or pierce the Israelites, man. And even then, Esau don't know who all the Israelites are. 
because like like we would be saying man they've been scattered all over the earth and their appearance the appearances have changed man <clears throat> so there's people who don't look like Israelites but their bloodline goes back to Abraham, Isaac and Jacob just like the Negroes, Latinos, Hispanics and Native Americans including the Mexicans and some Indians and these are doesn't know who's who <clears throat> when it comes to the Israelite foreigners hence why he, he wants to do it to everyone because if, if, if it gets <clears throat> all the Israelites then guess what Yahweh isn't Yahweh's not going to send Yahweh back man to Deliver his people. And then what Esau thinks is he's going to continue to reign, man, forever. <clears throat> In his little utopian kingdom, pseudo, kind, pseudo kingdom of heaven, man. Which is going to be nothing but wickedness, man. Here we two and five, it says, Yea, also because he transgresseth by wine. Going into his philosophies, going into his mindset, going into what he believes in, man. <clears throat> he is a proud man, neither keepeth at home, who enlargeth his desire as hell, meaning his desire is deep, man, and is as death and cannot be satisfied. So, yeah. <laughs> Although. Esau has all these things. He has control over the nations. He has power over the earth. He literally has the dominion. And he's still not happy, man. They're never going to be satisfied. <clears throat> and, and even if they, they, they did complete their NWO, they still wouldn't be satisfied. Man. Like if the Lord just let Esau do his own thing, guess what? The whole, the whole earth will be gone. I'm going to say the whole earth will be gone. I mean, it'll be a desolate wilderness. <clears throat> the entire earth, man. It'll be wasted. But like it says, man. But gathereth unto him all nations, and heapeth unto him all people. <clears throat> and the reason why is because Esau's got it into his head that he can be a god. And that he can have power over people's spirits, man. Just like the Most High. Hence why he's known as this man. Hebrews 12 and 9. It says, Furthermore, we had fathers of our flesh which corrected us and we gave them reverence. Shall we not much rather be in subjection unto the father of the spirits and live? So Yahweh is known as the father of spirits, man. And... <clears throat> Esau thinks he, he can do the same thing. But he's trying to do it by way of technology, man. By way of these CHIPs. And especially the the, the one where, where it goes into your head, man. As, as you saw from the video. They were able to control these birds and these rats and these moths by implanting a CHIP, man. <clears throat> Yeah, Revelation 13 and 18. Like it says, man, here's wisdom. Let him that have understanding, basically being the prophets, count the number of the beast, for he's the number of a man, and his number is 600, three score and six. And like I may mention, man, the ones that have wisdom that he's talking about is the prophets, man. It's for them to understand. Why? Well, because they'll go and prophesy and teach, man. As it also, let me get an example. <coughs> like it makes mention here, second address 16 and 33. <clears throat> it says the virgin shall mourn having no bridegrooms the women shall mourn having no husbands their daughters shall mourn having no helpers in the war shall their bridegrooms be destroyed and their husbands shall perish of famine hear now these things and understand them 
ye servants of the Lord? <clears throat> behold, the, behold, the word of the Lord, receive it. Believe not the gods of whom the Lord spake. <clears throat> so you have these prophecies, these visions that were written upon <clears throat> scrolls and that was translated from the Hebrew, which basically forms the Bible, essentially. <clears throat> it was for the servants of the Lord to understand. Why? Because they were going to stand in their light again and prophesy again, as it makes mention with Daniel, and as it makes mention with John. And now let's go back. So Revelation 13 and 18, like it says, his wisdom, let him that have understanding, like I said, the prophets, count the number of the beasts, for it is the number of a man. And his number is 600, 3 score and 6. <clears throat> I'm going into um, <clears throat> the 600, 3 score and 6 being the Kai Zai stigma. <clears throat> and that stigma, if you actually look into that word, it goes into mark or mark upon <clears throat> or to be pricked, which is letting us know that. Whatever this is, well, we know what it is. An RFID micro CHIP. And then you got the brain CHIP as well. <clears throat> Which in order to get it inside you, they're going to have to open your flesh, man. They're going to have to, to mark you, man. <clears throat> and they're going to insert those CHIPs, man. It's a physical thing, man, that they're going to do. And even then, if you look at the example that they give of stigma, the example they give is um, um, basically a general who's in charge of um, who's in charge of an army. There was certain there was more than one general, and they would have different men under them or different soldiers under them, and what they would do to know who the soldiers belonged to, they would basically brand them, or mark them, or prick them. And essentially, that's what Esau wants to do. He wants to brand and mark the Israelites, man. <clears throat> so that he can have his pseudo kingdom and, and reign forever, man. <clears throat> but the Lord ain't going to allow that to happen. Well, and I'm sure there's um another example I can get. Oh, here it is. <coughs> Isaiah 36 and 6. And it says, Lo, thou trusted in the staff of the broken reed on Egypt, whereon if a man lean, it will go into his hand and pierce it. So is Pharaoh king of Egypt to all that trust in him. As we go into the word piercement, <coughs> or yeah, if we go into the word pierce, it goes back to stigma, man. Which that stigma that's mentioned here is also the stigma made mention in um, Revelation 13 and 8 with the Kaisai stigma or the 666. That stigma is the same, man. It's, it's, it's a physical thing, meaning you're going to be cut into, man. Your flesh is literally going to be cut into. And that's exactly what Esau is going to do. <clears throat> now, they, sh they even show you the videos, man. They literally show you the videos. They got the little scalpel. They cut a little incision in in the hand, in the soft in the soft part of your hand. And then <clears throat> they get the delivery system, man. <clears throat> and they put the delivery system inside the hand, and it's basically like this syringe thing with with the CHIP inside it, man. And I push down and literally push that CHIP into your hand, man. And then they basically sew it back up. 
and essentially what happens is when it's healing, the flesh is going to, or should I say the tissue, is going to heal over that CHIP. Meaning that CHIP is going to be a part of you, man. It's going to be integrated with your body. And even then, we know that that CHIP is going to <clears throat> cause these terrestrial bodies to reject it, man. <clears throat> People are going to have adverse effects. <clears throat> Hopefully I can find it um Oh what's it called man? <clears throat> oh Forgot what it's called, man. But um, it's along the lines of um. Ah, oh, that's it. So I do have a similar Ah, what's it called? Ah, here we go. <laughs> Sorry, how was it? How should I? Revelation 16. And let's start with one. It's when I heard a great voice out of the temple saying, To the seven angels, go your ways and pour out the vials of the wrath of God upon the earth. And the first went and poured out his vial upon the earth. And there fell a noisome and grievous sore upon the men which had the MLTB. And upon them which worshipped his image. <clears throat> and yeah, man, like I was making mention, these terrestrial bodies are going to reject <clears throat> the MOTB. Which, when you think about it, these CHIPs are going to be active all the time. It's going to be on continuously. And it's going to be pumping out radiation. So what do you think is going to happen to someone who is just exposed to radiation constantly. What do you think, what do you think their hands going to look like? <clears throat> they're going to they're gonna have skin problems, man. They'll probably have radiation poisoning too. <clears throat> but yeah, man. <laughs> like, just imagine it. In, in that time. <clears throat> you're going to be like, you want, you want to know who's, who's taken them on TV. You, you're going to know, man, by their appearance. <laughs> like, you're you going to see it, man. <clears throat> but, yeah, it's as simple as this. Isa, you ain't, you ain't a god. You never will be a god. You're just being deceived until your end comes, until you're taken out of the way, until you fulfilled what you need to do. <clears throat> anyway, let's get this. Joel 5 and 12 is he disappointed the devices of the crafty and the crafty being the wicked also known as Esau Edom so that their hands cannot perform their enterprise going into their NWO man, which they've actually tried to do this before but back then when they tried it they didn't, they didn't have the technology man <clears throat> Mm. 
But let me read this. Ecclesiastes 1 and 10. It says, there, Is there anything whereof it may be said? See, this is new. It have been already of old time, which was before us. There is no remembrance of former things. Neither shall there be any remembrance of the things that are to come with those that shall come after. Another reason why the Lord always kept making mention to the prophets, write these things that you saw, man. Write it down, man. <laughs> but yeah, let's go to the book of Maccabees. Here we go. First Maccabees 1 and 41. It says, Moreover, King Antiochus wrote to his whole kingdom that all should be one people. And essentially, <laughs> that's what the end of your order is about, man. Everyone becoming one. <clears throat> one currency, one king, one God. Essentially, that, that, that's, we know who that's going to be. Esau, you know. <clears throat> <clears throat> oh yeah, and I can't I can't forget one religion as well. And if you notice with these religions, they all intertwine, <clears throat> and eventually, these religions they're all gonna come together man, and be like, oh, we're doing this for peace, and they're gonna form that one world religion man. <clears throat> but let's continue. And it says, and everyone should leave his laws. So all the heathen agreed according to the commandment of the king. Yea, many also of the Israelites consented to his religion and sacrificed unto idols and profaned the Sabbath. And, um, yeah, man. Even even in to, to, to today's time, that's how it's, it's going to be like. And when it says, um, the consented to his religion, that's going to be them taking the MLT beam. <clears throat> and it says, For the king had sent letters by messengers unto Jerusalem and the cities of Judah, that they should follow the strange laws of the land. So essentially, <clears throat> worshipping the image of the beast, man. <clears throat> it's, it's, it's going to be made into a law. <clears throat> and it says, And forbid burnt offerings and sacrifice and drink offerings in the temple, and that they should profane the Sabbaths and festival days. And, <clears throat> yeah, it's going to get to that time where you won't be able to call yourself a Hebrew Israelite, man. And people won't be chasing you down, <laughs> trying to convert you to, to, to the one world religion. Talking about peace, 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 peace. <clears throat> and it says, and pollute the sanctuary and holy people, and set up altars and groves and chapels of idols, and sacrifice swine flesh and unclean beasts, that they should also leave their children uncircumcised. And make their souls abominable with all men of uncleanness and profanation. <clears throat> to the end that they may forget the law and change all the ordinances. And whosoever would not do according to the commandment of the king, he said he should die. <clears throat> Just like it also makes mention in <laughs> Revelation chapter 13. <clears throat> Yeah, here we go. Revelation 13 and 15, like it says. And he had powers to give life unto the image of the beast, that the image of the beast should both speak and cause that as many as would not worship the image of the beast should be killed. So, yeah, if you don't want to follow the strange laws of Esau Eden, <clears throat> in a time where his NWO is basically being set up, <clears throat> he's going to end him. And that's another reason why they brought back those guillotines, man. Because <clears throat> they're going to be beheading people. <clears throat> a lot of people are going to get beheaded, man. Why? Because they don't want to receive the MLTB or put the RFID, micro CHIP, in their hand. They don't want to they don't they follow Esau's system. So Esau's going to retaliate with, if you ain't with us, you're against us, so just end their lives. And that's exactly what's going to happen, man. <clears throat> like I said, man, this is, this has already happened before. And it's going to happen again. But in modern times, man, <clears throat> with technology. <clears throat> but yeah, man, I hope this was edifying. I want to give praises on and glory to you. I hope it's my share. But